Hello, welcome to this video on the iOS config module within Ansible. Now the iOS config module is one of my probably most used modules within Ansible. It allows you to apply configurations um, line by line uh, via a config file or even via a Ginger 2 template. So we're going to cover all those options with a very simple test deployment to a single router. Uh, so let's get started. So I'm in my Ansible and I am running currently sorry, Ansible 2.5 and I've got a very simple playbook opened up and as you can see all I've got so far are the three dashes. So I'm going to start by building this playbook out very simply. Uh, bit by bit and you can follow along so first of all we start with the three dashes for the yaml file and then i need to say which hosts i'm going to apply this playbook to and for this instance it's going to be my csr routers and if you look in my host file this is ansible uh, so i've just called it routers so go back there so I've got one router in my routers file, and this is router one on 192.168.106.50. Let's just jump into that box just to make sure I can get to it. 192.168.106.50. So this is a CSR router. And you can see the address I was connecting to here, 192.168.106.50. So I've proved I can connect to it from Ansible directly. It's a good start, just a good verification. And we're going to start to build out the playbook. So I'm going to connect to routers here. Uh, we just need to put gather facts false. We don't want to gather any facts for these devices. And just for now, I'm going to use connection local. Okay, so the tasks that I want to configure are starting off very simply. So just to show you how the iOS config module works, we're going to change the host name of router one. I'm going to use the iOS config module. And the way to do this is to say the first way is to just do lines and in here you then just apply the Cisco configuration file you want to do. So I'm going to say host name are changed and that's it. So this very simple playbook will connect to all the devices in my routers group in the host file which is currently one router. It's then going to run the playbook called change hostname using the iOS config module and it's going to run the command hostname r changed and that's it. So we jump back to Ansible and run that playbook. So it's Ansible dash playbook iOS config dot yaml, that's what I've called it. And I'm going to use my username. Okay, so we've got a problem here. I could not match the supplied host pattern ignoring routers. So if you look here, um, just to double check, I've got that right. So that's routers. And in here, routers. And in my host file, it's caps. So that just shows you that everything in here is case sensitive. So we need to save that with the caps. So let's just jump back to Ansible and run that again. So you can see it's uh, doing the first task, change hostname. 
and that's completed and the orange indicates something has changed and the green down here indicates that everything is good. So if we SSH back into the router now, we should see the name, the host name of that device has changed. And as you can see, the host name there is R changed. So it has changed. So this very simple playbook here has run that one command. So I'm just going to put it back to router one, run the playbook again. And this is just going to change the host name back to R1. Again, that changes. Now, just to show you the item potency of Ansible, in that means that it will only make a change when there is a change to be made. So, if that command is already there, the router host name is already router1. This run again shouldn't need to make any changes. It should just complete as green. So that ran, no changes were made. You can see changed equals zero, and that's completed. Then we just SSH back into that router, just to verify. It's now R1. Okay, so that is about as simple as you can get. We've got a very simple playbook. We're using the iOS config, and we're running this single line hostname R1. Now, these are all global commands. So hostname R1, SNMP communities, NTP servers, etc. So I can do NTP dash server 192.168.1.1. Now you need to make sure that this command is actually the right command to run. So just to verify that, we uh, jump into the router itself. I've got this in secure CRT here. So this is the router that I was in. So we can just make sure that NTP dash server, see that that wasn't the command. So NTP space server. Okay, there we go. So the the correct syntax to define an NTP server on the Cisco router is NTP space server and then the IP address. So we configure that manually on the router. And you can see that now exists there as an entry. So let's remove that and see if we can get Ansible to deploy that. So, so run include SNM uh, NTP. So that doesn't exist at the moment. So we can now make this command. That's what it should be. We'll leave the host name in just, to, just for giggles. And that's there. So we run this playbook again. And this is now going to configure the, the NTP server. And again, a change was made. If we jump back onto the router here, so run including NTP and the command you can see was put in. So Ansible is configuring these global settings. So that's very simple to understand. You put a dash in the command and that's brilliant. Now, another way to do things are commands that are actually underneath different levels. So like um, an interface, configuration command. So let's have a look on the router and look at the configuration on Gigabit Ethernet 1. Now I'm going to get Ansible to put a description on this interface. And the way that works within Ansible is that you put the command that you want to go at the bottom. So I want the command to be description config by Ansible. Now this 
has this syntax called parents interface gigabit ethernet one. So what it's doing is saying, I want to apply this configuration underneath this parent. So we've put that in, I'm going to run the playbook again. And that's completed with a change. So if we jump back to the router again, show run interface GI1. We've now got description config by Ansible. So any configuration that you need to apply with Ansible that is underneath a different configuration has to be underneath this parents. So we can do another example. So if I said under OSPF router ID um, 192.168.1.1, this has to be parents router OSPF 100. We'll just make sure so show IP. So I've got currently uh, router OSPF 100. And if we check what that command looks like at the moment, so I've got router OSPF 100 and I haven't defined a router ID. So I've done the same again. This is the command I want to apply and it needs to go underneath this router OSPF 100. So we'll just run this again. So once you know what you need to do, it's very easy to use the IOS config module to do it. And that changes. And check the config on the router again. And under OSPF 100, you can see now we have a router ID configured. Now, this is great for simple commands, single commands. If you wanted to ensure a certain command existed on all your devices, but a hundred devices in your host file, you put one command here and you're guaranteed that that single command will be defined on every device. Now, I'm going to stop the video here. Um, in the next video, we're going to be going through using Ansible and the iOS config module and using a template or a source configuration. So I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you for watching and uh, see you soon.